Hello vinyl community, Bradley here. It's a beautiful day outside. Uh, just got back over the weekend from uh, a cousin who lives down in uh, Louisville area. And as usual, we hit a few record stores. We also went to a uh, blues, barbecue, and brews festival, I guess in a uh, city park in New Albany, Indiana, just across the river from Louisville. That was beautiful, fantastic weather. I just have a few albums, uh, shouldn't take too long. Uh, I was over in a uh, this antique store I frequent sometimes, kind of like a flea market also. Uh, I was never a big, uh, never a big Eagles fan. Uh, and this is not the Eagles, but it's Poco Legend. Um, for you unfamiliar with uh, this album, um, I would say if you like the, uh, the softer country rock of uh, the Eagles, Southern, Cal uh, Southern California sound, uh, you would really like you would really like this. Uh, a couple of songs you would probably recognize as uh, Heart of the Night and Crazy Love. But uh, like I said, I'm, and it was like $2, and it's in fantastic shape. So I just could not pass that up. Next album. <clears throat> I bought this at um, Barnes & Noble. It is a jazz album, Eric Hines' Tour de Force. Now, th this is kind of like a compilation. Uh, I think originally it was probably 1973. Uh, this is on one of my favorite uh, record labels, the ORG label. Um, they uh, reissue some... Uh, some jazz and some rock, mostly jazz. Uh, the quality is absolutely fantastic. Uh, for example, this particular album, Earl Hines, uh, it was mastered by uh, Bernie Grundman, uh, pressed on 180 gram at Palace or Palace in Germany, and it is beautiful yellow, translucent uh, vinyl. And I love these. Uh, this is Black Lion label, which is like the ORG. They do a lot of those. Fantastic sound. Earl Hines, I think he played with all the oldsters like Louis Armstrong. Uh, this particular album, uh, it's just piano. It's just him doing his, uh, whatever you call it, uh, bebop-ish solo piano. You can hear him grunt. You can hear him put his foot on the pedals. And uh, an excellent album. I'm glad I got it. But it's, uh, it's just piano. So a lot of people might not like that. The next album, uh, I got these next three down in Louisville. Um, this first one I got at Surface Noise, is the record shop in uh, Louisville. Art Pepper, The Way It Was. This is a uh, 1989, it was remastered in 1989. It's kind of like a compilation of songs that was recorded uh, probably in the mid-late 50s by Art Pepper. Uh, Art Pepper is a West Coast uh, jazz musician. Uh, this, the quality of this album is fantastic. Uh, I assume it's through the uh, remastering process and all that. Uh, it is on the uh, 
contemporary record label right there um, it's really good West Coast cool jazz uh, you can't get any better um, I've only got a, a few uh, art pepper but uh, especially after getting this one uh, I'm in the mood I will definitely seek out other ones wherever I can get them uh, it's got uh, most of these are standards uh, for example autumn leaves uh, the man I love um, and the way you look tonight but uh, boy sounds really good the next album also is surface noise this is my first album by this artist uh, I've heard a lot about her on the uh, vinyl community especially uh, jazz related Julie London I believe this is her first album Julie is her name Look at that record cover. Ooh, sexy, beautiful. It's on Liberty Records. It's got the, uh, I think this was recorded originally in 1955. Uh, this particular uh, record was, I think, pressed in 1960, according to uh, Discogs. Uh, like I said, I think this was her first album. Probably her biggest hit, Cry Me a River. Uh, if you like sultry, smoky voiced jazz, it's a jazz singer, Julie London, with Barney Kessel on guitar and Ray Leatherwood on bass. So you just have guitar and bass and, and Julie. Uh, man. I really like this album. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some more of hers. Um, now I remember uh, growing up in the '60s and '70s. Uh, there was a show in the '70s called Emergency, and she played. Uh, I think her name was Dixie. She was a nurse. It was kind of like about a paramedics in probably L.A. or something, and uh, Bobby Troop played the doctor. Now, uh, Bobby Troop, he wrote uh, Get Your Kicks Out on Route 66. He wrote that song. And actually, on this album, uh, the producer is none other than Bobby Troop. Uh, and they later married. <clears throat> Uh, Bobby Troop and Julie London, although they were not married when they made this album. Uh, another interesting thing, uh, Julie was originally married to Jack Webb, who he was a TV producer, he did Dragnet, and uh, he also produced Emer Emergency, that TV show. Well, she, Julie had been divorced from Jack Webb for a few years and she had uh, remarried she married Bobby Troop who she starred with on um, emergency uh, I, I looked on uh, Wikipedia and uh, I she was a heavy smoker uh, I think uh, maybe a heavy drinker but she was according to to what I've read, she was extremely shy and introvert. Uh, but boy, did she have a voice so sultry. Mmm. Beautiful. Now, the last album I picked up is a new album. It is. It's called Young Sick Camellia by St. Paul and the Broken Bones. Uh, I had heard a few Broken Bones, uh, St. Paul and the Broken Bones uh, songs before. I really liked. Uh, now this is their latest release, 2018. Uh, 
it's it's uh what would it be uh funkish uh i don't know bluish blues funkish type um and paul janeway i believe is the lead singer and i think he writes a lot of the songs fantastic voice fantastic um and i've only listened to this uh just a couple times uh i think it might take a few more listens to really get into but he's got one hell of a voice so uh i'm glad i picked that up so it's warm out here this has been sponsored by molar beer barn brewers of fine west central ohio beer uh, they make several several varieties and uh, tastes pretty good so that's it for today i thought i would just get this little video in uh it says so you know all you guys take it easy we'll catch you later <laughs>